Hello, I have a story for you. A customer comes to a shop with his 2008 Toyota Highlander. He says his power steering is not working. He says he tried to check the level of the power steering fluid, but he couldn't find it under the hood. And when he checked all the parts stores, he said all they had were manual racks. Have you already diagnosed the customer's problem? The answer is that his Highlander comes standard with electric power steering, not hydraulic. The motor for this system is mounted on the steering column between the firewall and the instrument cluster. So there's no fluid, no pump, and the rack is manual. The electric motor provides the assist, not hydraulic pressure. One advantage of an electric power steering system is that it makes the engine more efficient at higher speeds when assistance for that steering is not required. The electric power steering also helps to quiet down the engine bay and the technology is enabling collision avoidance systems in current and future generations of vehicles. What does electric power steering mean for your customers and your shop? The first item is diagnostic labor for inspecting steering complaints. Just like drivability problems, an electric power steering problem can't be solved with just a test drive. Curing a complaint will require scan tools, service information, and diagnostic procedures. Billing an hour of diagnostic labor to find the source of the steering problem should be a standard practice at all shops. If the source of the problem is the electric power steering assembly on the column or part of the steering rack, it is not a plug and play. The technician may have to perform a programming procedure so the new unit can communicate with the other modules on the vehicle or to complete a calibration procedure requiring a scan tool and a test drive. All of this must be part of the estimate and final bill. The next time you get a customer in your shop claiming they can't find their power steering fluid reservoir, you should first check to see if the steering system is electric. Then verify that other vehicle systems are not interfering with the power steering system's operation. Be prepared to explain to your customers the differences in today's steering systems. They may be surprised to learn that what they thought they knew is totally incorrect. Thank you very much. I'm Scott Schreiber and have a great day.